Hey guys, Crowangel Gaming here, uh, bringing you the latest mods for Fallout 4. Uh, as you can see, we're on the latest mods this week. Uh, last week we did the which one was it? The kind of cheats mods, I think it was for this game. So this time we'll be going back on to the latest mods. Uh, thank you very much to everyone who's been watching these. The best numbers are actually really impressive. That's how much they're getting back off this, so thank you very much for everyone who's watching each week. Uh, even if you don't watch it all the way through, still thank you very much. Uh, I do appreciate it. The record time has now finally been bumped up to uh, an hour. Don't worry, the video hopefully will not go an hour. <laughs> it's just so I don't have any more issues with the cutting off of the start of the video where I basically talk like this for about two minutes. So, uh, either way, uh, Thank you very much again for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, I'm going to kickstart this in a second. Uh, just want to say that, it, that if you haven't already actually checked it out, I'm currently working on a little feature film using the GTA engine called Origin of Evil. It's a prequel to one I did called Bride of Jason. If you haven't seen it, please check it out because I'm trying to get as much uh, basically I'm trying to spread it about as much as possible and if you want to share it with your friends on Facebook or anything like that as well just so I can get as many views as I can not for money I'm trying to get basically uh, as many views as I can so there's uh, people out there who are interested in my channel and the things I'm actually producing as I said uh, quite a few times in the past there are other people out there who do Fallout Skyrim and everything else who do, are obviously a lot more well known and they get a lot more uh, attention. I just basically want to do something with this uh, channel and since a lot of the time if you do watch me other stuff you'll notice that I provide gameplay instead of talking over something for about an hour. Uh, these being the uh, exception because obviously uh, if you're watching on a smaller, m smaller mobile media device it isn't always easy to actually see what's on screen so I try to give you like a brief rundown of what each of the mods does. Uh, but the rest of the time I do tend to do a lot of gameplay rather than trying to sell shot cards and gun those of life material. Uh, also I have just uploaded or in the process of uploading the third lot of modded gameplay so if you want to check out some of these mods in action I uh, guarantee most of it is actually gameplay footage but I've introduced now to what I'm calling the pop-up modding uh, which basically, if you remember back to the old days of VH1, uh, they used to do something called pop-up video where they'd have all these facts and stuff uh, uh, throughout like a music video uh, popping up on screen. What I'm trying to do is if I'm using a certain mod at a certain time or I come across something that is modded content, I'll do a little arrow with the name of the particular mod if it's something that you're interested in. The most common one you'll probably see is um, uh, pre-walled settlements. Uh, on the start of video two as well I have in, uh, I have put up a little bit where uh, if you want to know all the mods I'm currently using up to that time uh, I've just listed basically everything and who the author is as well. Anyway I've uh, rambled enough. Roll the intro! Oh that's right I don't have an intro on these videos. Damn it there goes my MXR uh, impersonation anyway. Mind you, if I was impersonating MXR, I'd have to be a lot more sarcastic. <laughs> Here we go. Anyway, uh, right off the bat, we've got LEM, which is to testing, don't, don't use, okay? Uh, to take another mode, okay, something over. Super Bemoff test. So, okay, first three mods to have the list, and not exactly a good start. Minutemen Quincy Quarries uh, requires a DLC for the Voltaic Workshop. Uh, thanks for checking out Minutemen Quincy Quarries. Uh, he made a small and basic mod to increase immersion when playing as General of the Minutemen, uh, who controls Vault 88. This mod cleans up all the body's blood and other raid junk in Quincy Quarries. It clears up the water and radiation and turns the former raider camp into a Minutemen outpost to protect the settlements of Vault 88. Uh, it is really just an aesthetic mod, it does not add any new settlements, no quests or dialogue, just a small aesthetic change for immersion. Secondly, it replaces the generator room in the radio tower 
room. The Minutemen need to be able to communicate and he always found it annoying that they had not necessary generator that he could not scrap. Okay. Uh, conquered Commonwealth. <clears throat> this looks a bit like something I saw on Skyrim uh, what modding as well. Uh, it made this small basic mod to increase immersion when playing with a general with the Minutemen, although it has been made for his current role play. See photo. Uh, he made it available for anyone else who might want it. Currently, this mod adds Minutemen flags, terminals, and actual Minutemen at certain areas for role playing purposes. I believe would be under Minutemen control by the end of the main story. Currently, these locations include Diamond City, Minutemen Outpost with Terminal, Good Neighbor, flags only, Relay Tower Network, and then just a bunch of all the different radio towers uh, where you could have. It guarded by the Minutemen. Vault 81, exterior, flags only. Outpost at Zimoja, uh, Zimonja. Uh, flag and Raider Camp, just outside the build limits, is replaced with Minutemen. The castle, small, small guarded outpost of the build, outside of the build limit. Okay. Bunker Hill, small guard post outside of the build limits. And this mod will place these flags as soon as activated so if you're starting a new a new game keep it deactivated until you want the commonwealth on the minutemen control in the future he intends to make a version for all the factions as well uh, you should not use this mod alongside any other version of this mod for the other factions use only one I should apologize as well if I'm slightly nasally fortunately my son came home with a cold the other day and now of course the whole house has it uh, Hangman's Alley Extended. See photo, which is non-existent. Uh, all scrappable items outside of the original build area are now scrappable. Uh, Bethesda picture, Bethesda requires that hyphen and space in the word. Okay. Simple mod. Stretches the build area all the way up to the river so you can plant those huge purifiers. Uh, didn't want to make it too big just because of how dense the inner city was city is making it too big would result in the loss of performance uh, this is how the settlement should have been made compatibility modifies the settlement cells as well as the border the buildable area trigger and the workbench doesn't move or remove anything shouldn't see cell reset should work fine with those restoration mods uh, anyone wondering what a cell reset is basically uh, uh, when you find that you have done something in an area you come back and it's been reset to what it was originally uh, the wasteland mouse okay some terminals adjusted uh, Ant-Man Fallout basically honey I strung the vault dwellers this mod should be the bottom of your load order uh, features a features a tiny ass character higher jump will be adding more okay pretty much just <laughs> it just basically shrinks your character so you look like you're in uh honey i shrunk the kids or ant-man or any other movie that shrinks people uh commonwealth visual overhaul this mod overhauls the overall visual appearance of the game Removal of fog on god rays, core adjustment giving you vibrancy uh, you've never experienced before. Adjust, adjustments to some of the lighting slightly all over the Commonwealth have given a new look to the game. Colors are less washed out and there is a better light shadow contrast. The weather effects are slightly improved, fire plasma and laser effects are enhanced and check out a fireworks show while you're at it. The pit boy light is now more immersive and casts shadows like a real flashlight would. These are all to his own personal tweaks he made for the PlayStation 4 experience and decided to share. Uh, interiors are now further overhauled as well. Uh, the edits on it is current version has vanilla pit boy light effect. A separate mod for the pit boy light effect will be available to download if you want the shadow creating pit boy light. Lag should be improved. All right, the world is dying. I know we've come across this once or twice in the past, but for some reason it's appearing on the latest. So, uh, another mod from the always impressive Fulgore 2727. 
this is basically is update 71 uh, to revise all revised all enemies they now have less health this is still an rpg so high level enemies are still hard to kill super mutants are still powerful monsters robots are tough death claws and death claw or death claws etc okay enemies like gun uh, raiders gunners brothers of steel dogs etc mostly humans and animals now have half health than vanilla for example an albino yogurai has 500 health instead of 1000 but the same rule applies to them high level enemies are still powerful but now on a realistic approach and don't forget the rpg aspect uh, it goes on to then list a bunch of stuff that is updated in the past updates uh, so if you haven't seen this on a thing before you basically have to start a, a new game for the changes to take effect the mod incorporates his mods for full gold new settings curse of darkness normal edition blessing of darkness and ammo is gold so you're using them uh you can un uninstall if you want you can use these other mods too this mod changes a lot of terms and survival aspects of fallout here are the main changes you can and it just goes on again to list a bunch of changes uh basically the, the world is dying you start weak alone everything seems impossible to get good food is rare pure water is for the rich ammo is gold you have to make allies use your resources with the wisdom or otherwise you're not going to survive basically it's just an extended survival mode mod a restored content okay i usually skip over this but i might as well just uh give you guys a an idea of what it actually is uh this mod restore cut content from the original game and some unused most important is a standalone version with no dlc or patches needed it's playstation 4 exclusive because it is not needed for the other version the mod is work in progress and will be available will be able to restore some content that does not require custom scripts or texture files actually after all the dlc to avoid conflicts a uh, list of restored content the gunners are in diamond city derek whoever that is brad finnegan casey uh creator of atom the confessor adalia uh good neighbor I'm not sure what the good neighbor thing would be but uh, Dolly Madison, Eddie Lipkins, Vault 111, Professor Wind, Wind Wildner, Combat Zone, uh, Patches the Merchant. Oh, base, right, okay. It's listing characters that have been restored in each of the area. Combat Zone, Patches the Merchant, Railroad HQ, Old Man Billy, uh, Bunker Hill, someone called Arnie, Charles Stinian, Amphitheater, Brother Matthew, Perks Magazine, Liam Algorithm, Liam Bennett Institute, all right, okay. Uh, Secret Agents, Desdemona for the Railroad HQ. Uh, restored map markers, 35 counts, okay. And a lot of a lot of different areas which have been re-added into the game as waypoints. Okay. Uh, stumble upon interiors. Go shopping in Malden. Enjoy the laid-back atmosphere of Coltrane's Bar. Check it out. Uh, check in and see Grandma Flora in Cambridge has, an, has got everything under control. Stumble Upon Interiors has a collection of new immersive interiors added to the Commonwealth. There's no quest lines tied to these places and none of them will have map markers. Uh, they'll all be stumbled across while traversing the Commonwealth. He has tried to make them all atmospheric and interesting to explore in their own ways and it was also aimed to get the interiors relatively close to vanilla Fallout 4 in terms of loot lighting and encounters. More interiors will hopefully be added with time. Uh, this version contains seven new interiors which are apartment buildings in the Esplades, uh, attorney's office in Natwick Banks, Bunker Hill Bar in Charlestown, uh, Coltrane's Bar in the Fens, Delicatessen store in Malden, a bookstore in Malden, Grandma Flora's house in Cambridge. Uh, the mod is compatible with Beantown Interiors Project, Plenty of Explanation, the Exploration, Expanding Boston, Crowdy Commonwealth. Uh, if this still turns out to be incompatibility, let him know and he'll update the page. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, abandoned Pool Hideout at Parsons State. The idea of the mod came from a newer season of Orange is the New Black. Uh, if, you, if you've seen it, you'll know why. Orange is the new bunker. Heh. 
Okay. Also, read the notes below for important information. While searching the grounds of Parsons State Insane Asylum, you will find a locker. Uh, when you go to, to lose it, you'll realize it sounds hollow. Pushing on the back panel, you'll enter an abandoned aquatic facility, which was closed down before the war even began. I can see I'll move on to the next screenshot for you. Uh, after the war, it became home to a woman called Fr Frida, uh, a patient at Parsons State. You can read her terminal entries and discover her story, then turn her hideout into a secure and wonderful new settlement. Play at home for you. There you go. Uh, I recommend doing the Cabot House quest before coming here. It won't disrupt the quest or anything, but you'll have to fight or sneak past a lot of mercenaries. Once you discover the location, you can fast travel to it directly from interior or fast travel out as well. Uh, he added enough of a backstory to make the place fit in the Wither World. Uh, it's still rather, rather luxurious by Wasteland standards, but it weaves itself into the lore pretty well. Semi immersive, lore friendly, he'd call it. Uh, McCready Unlimited Carry Weight. Straightforward, self explanatory. Rivet City mod. Uh, the Rivet City mod. That's a painting if I ever saw one. That's from Fallout 3, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Rivet City mod adds your very own aircraft carrier, which comes with a functional functioning interior and exterior. The aircraft carrier acts as a player home for the Lone Wanderer and is able to be customised with a workbench uh, which is located outside the superstructure. The, carry uh, the carrier is empty and ready to be customised to your individual liking. This mod is very detailed and you hope you enjoy it. He uh, spent a lot of time to work and make good quality mods for the PlayStation 4 users because console players are not able to enjoy many of the mods PC users have due to the console limitations. Uh, he'll he will continue to perfect this mod, but if you need feedback and there may be some flaws, okay. I'll add that to favourites and I'll check it out for you guys because uh, it does look pretty good. I mean, obviously that's not a screenshot of the actual ship itself. So if it does turn out to just be a bit of a crap thing, then uh, I'll make sure I point it out on here to save you guys having to actually download it as well. It is a pretty sizable one, but it should be fine. Lone Survivor's Cheat Band. Uh, for his Xbox One creation, just an overpowered ring may or may not be level 500 within a few discoveries. An enemy, after putting it on, hope it still works. Okay. Workshop unlocked. Unlocked items so far halfway clean bunk bed, ammo box, boss trunk, safe standing, duffel bag, fridge, something medikit. Um, yeah, military trunk, Vault 81 trunk, uh, added Vault and Mannequins update for Vault 114, 111, 95, 75, male mannequin, female mannequin, do not, don't feed the beers, sign, uh, art and bug fixes updates as well, and there you go, that's basically it. <clears throat> uh, Dr. Mobius's infinite stash. Uh, all coolers, I'll go, okay. Are you tired of running out of supplies? Can't find enough steel, wood or copper for building, even after exhausting the full supply of other downloaded caches. Do you think that one item could ha could really tie your settlement, settlement decoration together? Okay. In Sanctuary located right next to the workbench, you'll discover a, floor, uh, a door to a cellar belonging to Dr. Jane Mobius, a pre-war researcher at CIT who worked on a technology which, which she figured could lead to teleportation. Her old machine is still running, which can rematerialize any item your heart desires right before your eyes as many times as you'd like it. Simply activate the rematerial... God, what a word. Rematerializer. <laughs> Please, anybody else, try, try saying that five times fast. Especially when you got a stammer. Uh, using the box in the entryway, go into the main room, take what you need, and then with two presses of a nearby button, your supply will be replenished. Weapons, ammo, armor, power, armor, clothes, food, drink, chems, meds, junk, caps, bottle heads, bubble heads, oh, bubble heads, magazines, and more. This might come in handy on my current playthrough so I don't have to hunt down all the bloody magazines again. Uh, other features include a player home on the lower level with a bed and a automatic 
decontamination fields, some unique crafting stations, a garage cart is the weapons bench. Uh, the sink is a chemistry station, the cabinet is the armor station, an infinite bottle of Nuka Cola Quantum to replenish your health, and plenty of storage. Uh, you can also read entries by Dr. Jane Mobius and her husband George Smith on the terminal for a bit of backstory about the place and to make it all seem a bit more believable within the Fallout universe. Everyone loves a good immersion, right? Uh, field day. No information, so unfortunately I can't cover that one. Workbench anywhere. I've actually considered using this one myself to pretty much put one wherever you actually need. Uh, basically, uh, the mod will allow you to create a new item at the chemistry bench called Spawn Beacon. Workshop, workshop, workbench. Uh, that can be used like a grenade to spawn a workshop workbench wherever in the game world you want. Uh, I've read over this one, Alex. I was just about to download it and I realized what time it was trying to try and get uh, one of these on for me. Kids have to get up. Uh, basically, you chuck a beacon like a hand grenade wherever your beacon lands, the work, workshop workbench will appear. You can't move it after that, so be sure of where you want it to be put. Some things can be destroyed, some things cannot be, uh, and you'll still get raiders coming in the area. It doesn't make a settlement. You can't use people. Uh, you can't assign settlers there, but if you just want to scrap an area, or try to scrap a, 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 an area, then this one is the thing. There are other mods out there which pretty much do the same thing, which do have a bit more options for scrapping stuff. Right. Mysterious Bunker Biozones. Mysterious Bunker Biozones, known Gua, available on all systems, no DLC required. This mod is a work in progress and is currently in the stage in which a few things already made it will be changed, but much will be added. Uh, for those who are waiting for the mod to be completed, it will be completed once he's done so much with the file size getting such too large. AKA there is no planned end. He will continue to update as m more ideas come to mind and he will learn about modding. This mod adds a new world separate from the Commonwealth, accessible through either bunkers or a vertibird near uh, Vault 111. Discover the story of the mysterious stranger. Why does he travel all across America? Where does he come from? How does he travel almost completely undetected? Okay, I'm intrigued, call me intrigued, but it does seem pretty interesting. So, okay. I'll add that one into my uh, to be downloaded list. Shipwreck Island. Shipwreck Island, uh, which looks like one that we already know of, is fully functioning settlement, complete with the appropriate effects and nav mesh. Sorry, my throat's uh, closed now for me. Uh, build your lousy sheds and 1,000 containers to hold your junk. There is plenty of building space with and with a ton of scrap. I recommend, he would strongly recommend a settlement scrap mod unless you like the look of a shipping containers right uh, next to your lousy sheds. The workshop building buildable area is marked with four red boys. Uh, he has uploaded pictures. You can, oh, right, yeah, I see what they mean now. It's, it's a cr crashed ship. Uh, he has uploaded pictures with the mod. If your curiosity takes you there, located, the location is already marked on your Pit Boy map, assuming you download this. It's east of Diamond City and just north and slightly east of the castle. Uh, there is a rowboat that takes you there, takes you to the castle, and one that takes you to Boston Airport and back. He had a few issues with the distant LOD. Uh, he, hadn't, he hadn't found too many issues. He's currently working on another mod. He will update this with a few distant LOD fixes soon. Does not require any DLC. That ship actually looks like it's upturned. Uh, wet ones. No information. Limited minute main quests. Okay, uh, this is a simple mod done on request. It changes one global vari vari variable in the game from three to one, which stops Pe Preston from spamming the player with minute main quests. 
Uh, Preston will only give one quest at a time and will not give another until the last one is completed. You can still play a Minutemen quest. You can still play the Quin Mes Quin Minutemen quest line. Uh, it basically means all the repeats and radials go help this settlement. This settlement needs to be set up kind of missions. Uh, you won't have Preston giving you max of three quests at any given time. Well, you can just like turn them off. <laughs> Uh, I've been using this since before the creation kit was even released on this PC. Okay. Workshop junk wall pack. Okay. <clears throat> Have you ever thought the junk walls were uh, a bit samey? This mod currently has 24 new custom junk wall pieces of different sizes and complexity, designed to feel like they could have been made by wastelanders and can be found in the junk walls tab and used like any other junk wall. <sighs> God, I really need to blow my nose, but I don't want to do it in the middle of a video. Uh, it now also adds some decoration from round walls, such as mounted heads and on spikes and spikes for sticking through defenses. It not only has 10, five lots of two guard post chairs, so guards don't have to stand up all day, okay. Four harbor creatures at Commonwealth. <clears throat> if it's a sudden jump in this video, it's because I've actually saved it in two halves just so I can actually carry on. Uh, it brings four harbor creatures to the Commonwealth. <clears throat> Overpass settlement, clean and walled. Hello people, Grub again. Uh, this is his second mod. This one will, uh, is a little more simpler than his first, so it shouldn't have any issues unless you are using a mod that alters this area. It is located at the overpass by Corvega Factory, uh, where the two highways met. Uh, the two highways meet. You can find a workshop on the porch of the house where you enter. Uh, seemed USO friendly. Uh, it didn't have much to scrap, so bring supplies. Still working on this, going out of quest and some other things as time go by. Should be a good way. Good to start building on now, though. Uh, STC uh, base game, scrap the Commonwealth. Okay, this is the one I wanted to add. So it's glad I came across this again. <laughs> of course, my phone now goes off. Uh, collaboration mod with Tin Man and 3L Rick. Uh, top load order critical, read the full description. Uh, if you like a mod, remember to rate it. What the mod does allows you to pick up, move, and scrap basically any object in any outdoor cell in workshop mode without breaking pre combines, previs, and negatively affecting frames per second. Uh, gives you access to a workbench that can be moved and or called to your location anywhere in the Commonwealth to enter build mode alpha, currently separate. Read the frequently asked questions. Uh, allows you to store an object in one settlement and place it in another, providing it is providing it's an item you have the ability to build. Okay. Uh, what I'm probably going to actually do is save this into two parts in a second, just so I can actually breathe again. Uh, animals, children, settlers. Uh, uh, there. Now for a radio signal beacon in settlements are held vicious various dogs, cats and children. There's this mod just for you. Okay. <clears throat> ah, okay, yeah, this is one of the ones I just recently favorited, which I'm gonna download when I get back up to that point with my character. Not no point me installing the mod just yet. Uh, basically for this one, you'll need the Far Harbor and Nuka World DLC. Uh, it's called Nuka World Glory Rise from Ruin. Uh, if anyone has seen the DC Glory mod, uh, what, uh, which I will, uh, I should point out on the videos I'll be uploading alongside the mod reviews is also now I've, uh, I'll also be doing the uh, 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 gameplay, modded gameplay video every single week as well. Uh, I was just going to upload them as and when I did them, but I figured I might as well do them on the same day, make Friday my main edge upload day, and then I can upload everything else, um, what, what Monday through Thursday or over the weekend. So, but anyway, uh, 
one of the videos that I've actually done is a DC Glory special. It's from the same guy, Slacks New Slacks North North Side. Slacks North Side. <laughs> God, I get that. Uh, and now he's done one for Ed Nuka World as well. It is a little bit glitchy according to his description, but basically he's, he's made what uh, he's, he's actually tidied up Nuka World to make it look a little bit more uh, tidy. And uh, if it, if what I've seen with his DC Glory mod is anything to go by, Nuka World should be extremely good. Uh, it it really looks like it's meant to be. So some of the textures on the walls don't quite fit in DC, but uh, it does fit with. Uh, it does make it look uh, like it has been restored a lot more. Anyway, uh, build anywhere. Sorry, I'm really struggling to breathe here. Uh, allows you to build anywhere by fetching a workshop. You fetch it uh, by clicking on fetch workshop item in your inventory crafted at a chem station. You fetch the same workshop workbench all the time is and is moving its allowed build area with it. Okay, uh, though you can move the workbench in workshop mode. It won't move the build area along with it. Okay. Uh, this will most likely be integrated with Scrap Black Commonwealth since it's currently only allows you to build wherever, not scrap whatever. Okay. Whatever indeed. <clears throat> uh, just a small weapon mod. Uh, this mod adds a assault rifle that shoots missiles and a deliverer that shoots mini nukes. They can be found in the bed of the truck at Tuffington Boathouse. Okay, well, I can't download this mod because I've just scrapped the entire of Tuffington Boathouse. <laughs> okay. Uh, USS Leviathan. Uh, have you ever wanted to have your own post-apocalyptic cargo ship to live on? Well, now you can with the USS Leviathan mod. Uh, this mod adds your very own cargo ship close to the, the, the battalion. Uh, there is a workbench on the vessel so you can customize your ship your way. The ship is huge and has plenty of space to build anything you can think of. There is a spawn marker for you to spawn on the ship or you can land a vertibird on it. If you have any suggestions for him, go to his Bethesda page and check out all his other mods like the Pridwin Settlement mod. The Pridwin Settlement mod is on the ones for me to actually download as well, so I will give this guy a check out and see what it's like. King of Ping, yeah. King of Snipers. How to get it? Inside the mill box near Vault 111, or if you destroy that to destroy them in it's at Diamond City by weapon vendor ammo box. It add in the sniper and sh sharpshooter sunglasses to the game. Okay. Uh, scrap that Commonwealth add on for Vault Tech Workshop. Straight so forward. Uh, scrap that. Like you want to say settlement because that's the one I've got. Strap. Scrap that. Strap that. Okay. Uh, scrap that Commonwealth Atomatron add on. Far Harbour add-on, Nuka World add-on, Wicked Workshop. Can't get enough settlements, Wicked Workshop turns the Wicked Shipping Fleet Lockup into a fully functional a fully functional settlement. Forget about all the constant zombies you're gonna get in the area then. Uh, it's cleaned up a lot of the debris and rearranged some things to make it feel like a bit more of a settlement and remove some things that can't be junked. Uh, he also turned the power armor workbench shack into a greenhouse, added some power conduits, first just add wires, uh, the included and included some building materials in the workbench. If the wicked ship if the wicked shipping decals get in your way in front of uh, the top of the stairs just outside the office with the terminal on a crate in the main room, you can remove them by, by scrapping the rugs directly below them. As of version 6, he added toggles to show hide crates, trailers, and dead bodies, and the decal C below. Okay, so basically, there you go. Uh, Red Rocket Settlement. Expanded. Alright, expanded area. As you can see there from the map, 
uh, the settlement now pretty much goes all the way up to the outskirts of Sanctuary and a little bit further beyond as well so it gives you a bit more trees and grass and everything else if you have got the uh, scrap that settlement and scrap the one I've got which is uh, scrap leaves trees and bushes basically then you can go along and just pick up all the stuff off the ground to, to make it look a bit more cleaner as well uh, artillery, artillery range increased uh, makes Minutemen artillery have a much greater range one artillery piece should be able to fire anywhere on the map <laughs> uh, I have also reduced the reload time to one from one in-game hour to ten in a game t ten in-game minutes okay uh, this mod goes well with any other mod that improves the artillery damage and the f explosion radius improve <laughs> okay right next to it improved Minutemen artillery smoke grenades uh, this simple mod that makes the Minutemen artillery much more effective. Artillery now does more damage with five times larger blast radius. He has also made changes to the artillery smoke grenades and added a weapon that will essentially, essentially shoot the artillery smoke grenades without needing to lob them. This weapon can be found inside the armory on the table in the center of the room at the Minutemen Castle. Uh, speaking of Minutemen Castle, you probably won't see it on my mod videos until a couple of videos time. But uh, one thing I did find, if you are going to use the Scrap That Settlement mods and the ones like I was on about for cleaning up, uh, tidy, uh, tidying up leaves and all those types of stuff off the ground. Uh, when you do the castle and uh, you're going through and you're clearing up all the bits of concrete on the floor and everything else and you're trying to make it look all tidy, be careful when you go to clear one of the tunnels that you'll later have to come back and do in old guns uh, where you basically go down into the underbelly of the castle uh, through those doors, fight that big uh, robot and then uh, you come back up in the armory uh, if you happen to clear that passage ahead of time and then because you've got scrap that settlement on uh, it'll give you the door and you think okay I, well I might as well just delete the door as well and then when you come to do the old guns mission you go down there and there's no door anymore it hasn't respawned or anything like that so you basically broke your game i've now had to go back to a earlier save when i was level nine and i'm fast as quick as i can trying to actually catch up with where i'd last made a video up to which was basically going to the, the castle uh by meeting up with ronnie and going down into beyond the belly so yeah just a little friend warning if you are using a scrap that uh settlement mod scrap that commonwealth just be careful what you delete because you might later need it in a, a, a mission that might break your game and then force you to go back another 20 levels and do all these elements all over again. Anyway, uh, Wicked Workshop Immersion version. Okay, just another version of that atmospheric world. Okay, we have covered this one quite a few times. Uh, the mod recreates the real atmosphere of post-nuclear world. Uh, mod Commonwealth is now immersed in a post-nuclear haze, so you just want the game to look hazy all the time, then that's for you. Armor and weapon keywords resource. Uh, it requires a DLC for Automatron file, however, Contraption Workshop, Voltec Workshop, Nuclear World. Purpose, this resource accomplishes the following things. Uh, creates a standardized frame framework for armor and cosmetic keywords for mod authors to prevent conflicts. Standardized armor and cosmetics slot uh, usage to prevent conflicts contributes to all major cosmetic mod authors. Uh, creates a standard armor and weapon workbench to be utilized for crafting items added by mods. Uh, adds a standard MA keyword for uh, used by weapon modders, a set of OM, uh, OMODs <coughs> for damage upgrades for blade weapons and DN keywords for tactical light laser sight. Okay, there's a lot of stuff on here and my voice is going, so I'm just gonna let you guys check this out if you want to. Uh, cheat room, automatron patch. Uh, requires obviously the DLC for automatron. Uh, gives you a vault looking room. Uh, a patch 
for a cheat room which adds Atomatron items so you don't necessarily need oh of course you still need to actually download the content. Uh, this needs to this needs to be below cheat room ESM ESM in the load order. Okay. Uh, see through scopes. This mod adds scopes to all vanilla weapons with 2.5 times and 4 times magnification called combat scopes. In a sense, they are meant to be they are meant to replace the vanilla scopes. Uh, the scopes the scopes add allow for rapid target acquisition and keep your peripheral vision intact. Uh, every weapon that has a reflex sight in the game has had uh, or has a 2.5 times and 4 times combat scope. Uh, you can craft the scopes at any workbench, uh, any weapon work, weapon bench. Uh, due to mod conflict reasons, the scopes will not spawn on NPCs or guns found within the wasteland. No DLC is required for this mod, as it only adds sights to base game weapons. Settlement supplies expanded. Uh, update fixed all tree list. Okay. okay. Uh, you all know supplies expanded now for PlayStation 4. Please note that this mod came as is and you can't provide any help with platform specific issues. No response for your game breaking. Okay. This mod adds usable furniture, bed chairs, benches, chain link fence sets, covenant fence set, uh, miscellaneous, miscellaneous interactive objects, barber, surgery chair, etc., which we didn't get anyway. Uh, static. Decorative objects, uh, cars, trees, rocks, etc. Alternate power, armor, rack, etc. Credits for troll. Okay. Atom Cat's Garage Player Home. Okay, so if you want the if you want to play a home at the Atom's Cat Yard, uh, USO Cubes, Simply Greens, Seasons. Uh, the Simply Seasons, the uh, Simple season series uh, simple green simple yellow simple red and simple white allows you to alter the look of grass and trees throughout the game world to reflect the re reflect the four seasons simple green is the first in the series and is designed to reflect spring and shorter vibrant green grass uh, greener ground plants and flowers and bright green trees uh, basically if you want your world to look less dead and more green then uh, this is quite a handy mod i'm gonna put that one on just in case uh, I want to change my game up a little bit in the future. Dance without power armor, test mod, okay. Flat Sanctuary Hill. And you can see there it's been, uh, Sanctuary Hills has been completely flattened out to make it a bit easier to build upon. Starlight Drive-In, no buildings and flatter. Pretty much the same as what I just, did, uh, just saw with that one. Uh, where Sanctuary Hills has been completely flattened out to make it a bit more easier to be built upon and now you haven't got the big movie screen uh, at the far end as well don't know what that one is I don't know if not Sunshine Tidying Settlement Extended uh, the ex yeah, expanding the settlement borders right down to the river so if you wanted to put any water things in why you'd want to do that now when you've got the concrete things uh, which can be placed in soil but uh, if you do necessarily want to expand down to the water, then this expands all those things. Don't forget, though, if you are using a scrap that settlement mod, some of the stuff might not be scrappable if it isn't within that area. But then again, you'd have to try it out, I think. What on earth is that underneath the image? Okay. Uh, Tavington Boat House extended pretty much the same as all the other mods that have been extended you can extend it right out into the water and build upon it if you wanted to no enemy respawns okay uh, this mod should hopefully remove enemy cell respawns it doesn't delete any spawn points but instead changes a respawn cell and respawn cell cleared uh, to be very high number so NPCs won't respawn anytime soon if you clear out an enemy base it should stay cleared Base game settlement resources boost, no DLC required, uh, just a bunch of new stuff you can actually use within the game uh, for creating. Enable radio by default, okay. Quick change in meter down radio stations are on the default, similar to Fallout 3. Commonwealth visual overhaul for Nuka World DLC. 
this add-on plugin for the Commonwealth Visual Overhaul to the Nuka World DLC it can be used as a standalone if you want to enhance Nuka World only by or only or use it in conjunction with the main Commonwealth Visual Overhaul. The mod will conflict with other weather, lighting, fog, god ray mods, and he will make this compatible with. He will not be making this compatible with other weather and so on mods itself. So you have to basically pick which one you want. A uh, sanctuary safe place. A safe place to put your things and stuff. Uh, built a little building in a sanctuary that has some cool effects inside. Able to live in it and place more furniture in it. Okay. Pridwin player home. Uh, so basically this requires DLC for pretty much every piece that is actually out there. Uh, home on board the Pridwin with a cat and a rat but no hat. Okay. <laughs> More realistic submachine guns. Uh, the normal submachine, yeah, submachine gun is so bad. Uh, I love the way it looks and sounds, but the damage is horrible. We raise the base damage quite a bit. You may not see a big number difference, but automatics are more dangerous per second anyway. Okay. Charles Overhaul for the PlayStation 4. <laughs> There's going to be a lot to read, damn it. Okay. Uh, basically, this mod covers an extreme large area of gameplay way too much to describe in full thank god uh, i'll try to cover as much as i can but uh full description on the boards okay charles overhaul patch basically uh chems meds drugs and food have all been overhauled stims uh, heal fast like they have in previous games and now two healing items have been added weapons improved armor improved power armor improved clothing uh, the body's body coverage has been fully covered now, etc. Uh, factions, all factions have different styles, advantages, and weak points. Uh, critters, animals, insects, Kruskians, and mutant abominations, ferals, etc., have all been fully overhauled. Companion health, etc., carry weight have all been buffed. Perks, every single level and perk has been altered and buffed in some way, and I'll let you read the rest. Combat rifle. 45 and the 556. Kind of unimmersive for a rifle to shoot bullet, pistol bullets, right? Simply changes the default caliber of a rifle from pistol caliber to rifle caliber. Does more damage, of course. Tested and works fine. No DLC requires required. 30 birds sucks less. Uh, basically, it makes the 30 birds suck way less. The minigun fired a building size spray the vertebrate keeps exploding before we could land okay minutemen military gear equips the minutemen with army fatigues combat armor uh, automatic handmade rifles and the sniper variation variant mini guns ghost rifles and missiles launchers uh, fortified castle this mod places junk walls in the town surrounding the castle so it gives the impression that the Minutemen under the Soul Survivor have begun to fortify the area to ensure the castle doesn't fall again. Uh, it made the walls look like they've sunken into the ground because of poor construction or the passage of time. Okay, fair enough. Spectacle Island revamped. It's a shame it's not loading up the screenshot that was on because that did look pretty interesting. Uh, before install, please note that you must visit Spectacle Island to activate uh, or the, and activate Beacon, or you will get lots of floating things. Also, if you see floating grass after the step, please re-fast travel to to Army Base, and it should reset. Uh, it might be a little buggy as can't use scripts, and this is a port from the PC and Xbox. Okay, uh, completely redesigned, reimagining of Spectacle Island. Added five new areas with a mini text-based quest. Mostly flattened and smooth building areas, no clutter, new weapon and mini quest. And I can't go any further down than that, okay. Hitchcock presets makes everything black and white, I'm guessing. Uh, Big Girl Kate, Muscly Kate, uh, Deadlier Raiders, Haunted Vault 165, Project Fog Out, Customi Customary Customizables, Customizables even. Companion weapons are customizable. Companion weapons are customizable. You just give them what you want anyway. Disciples of Atom. Commonwealth Bait Shop. 
PlayStation 4, what could have been exotic enemies? Okay, some of these are stuff that we have covered in the past, so if you want to see them, just uh, uh, check them out in the previous videos. More realistic double barrel shotgun, or as I call it, the boomstick. Yes, that is a, a an Evil Dead Army of Darkness reference. Starlight driving, huge prison camp. I will quickly open that so you can have a quick look at these screenshots. Basically, straightforward, it's just a uh, oh, uh, huge prison camp and horror adventure. Okay, so someone's basically turned it into a survival horror mini game <laughs> within the area. Uh, bear, bearable frog. Okay, oil lamp floats boom. Okay, jangles mine. Uh, plat box by invoker. Oil lamp craftables, craftable paints. Uh, craftable craft handmade rounds and gun. Far harbor mine spawn creature. Jesus, there is a lot this week. Uh, hello operator. I need an op drop. Uh, craft a foam. Uh, like a mine at Kemla, ring ring its bell for supplies, operator outfits and caps. If you install, you keep the spawned items. Uh, cappy slapping booms <laughs> mine, okay. Anyway, uh, before I just choke on my own snot at the moment, I'm just going to say thank you very much for watching and uh, tune in next week where we will be doing uh, the, let's see, we did cheats last time, so we'll be doing clothing. Uh, next time so this will be more the probably the light armor but you probably will get some other stuff in there as well so thank you very much again uh, i do apologize for yeah again having the cold and i hope the new video format has actually recorded and not cut half off my stuff from the beginning thank you very much for watching again thanks for the support and tune in next week and if you're a skyrim fan i'll be doing that video once i've decongested <laughs> see you later guys